Determine the molar mass of 0.75 moles of an unknown solid crystal if the mass was 43.875 grams. We look at this question, right? Remember what, what I just said, molar mass, right? Here's moles, here's mass of it. And molar mass is always written in grams per mole. So all we're doing is we're taking the mass, 43.875 grams, and we're dividing it by 0.75 moles. And what do we get? You sure? Every time I type something out. I gotta, I gotta do the calculation here on my own. 58.5. That's nickel, right? 58.5 grams per mole. What's the least number of significant digits in my question? Two. Two. So my answer must be rounded down to? 59 uh, grams per mole. Determine the mass of 2.35 moles of sodium acetate. We know we have the uh, number of moles, which is 2.35. Okay. We have 2.35 moles of sodium acetate. Sodium acetate, there's the formula, NaCH3COO. Okay. So with that formula, what can I find? The molar mass. Right? So I want to find out the molar mass of each one of these atoms and add them all up, okay? And we get the following, 82.04 grams per mole. So that's our molar mass. So according to our pyramid, what do we not want? What are we trying to find? The mass. So we're gonna cover up the mass or eliminate the mass up in our um, pyramid. And what function are we doing between uh, molar mass and moles? We're multiplying. So we're multiplying 82.04 grams per mole times 2.35 moles. What cancel out? What units? Moles. And our answer must be in grams. The answer you should have gotten 192.794 grams. But what are the least number of significant digits in my question? Three. So I want the 192. But I don't just take 192, I look at the number I have next to it. Who cares about these? These don't matter. It's only the one number that is following what we're keeping. So what does the answer become? 193 grams of sodium acetate. Uh, find the number of moles found in 12.86 grams of plumbic thiosulfate. We have the mass of our formula, right? We are trying to find the number of moles, so we're trying to find N. So we need the formula. So the formula is as follows. Plumbic thiosulfate. There is your formula. PB, open brackets, S2O3, close brackets, 2. Here's why it's so important, because if you mess that up, there go the marks. Go by, just like that. <laughs> so with that formula, what can I find? The mass. The molar mass. Yeah. Try to find the molar mass. And the molar mass, 431.6 grams per mole. Yeah, we, we've, been, we've been able to stop time and do that calculation without really skipping a beat. Okay, so we have our pyramid. What are we covering up? We're covering up the N. Right? We're covering up the N. So we have the mass on top of the molar mass. So what function? Division. So we get 12.86 grams divided by 431.6 grams per mole. What are we canceling out? What units? 
grams. And our answer is going to be in moles. So I got 41.46 for that. 431.46. Can anyone verify that? I got 48. That's still so. Okay, so how many uh, we have, how many lead do we have? We have one. One lead. How many sulfur? Four. How many oxygen? Six. Anyone else verify? It's four eight. Four, eight. It's, it's still eight. It's four eight? Yeah. Okay. Like four, eight, one, eight, five. Yeah. Okay. So we've We've got a mistake here on the PowerPoint. I'm gonna call my partner and put together who gave me these PowerPoints. So, uh, 431 point four eight four eight gram four eight five? No, just four eight. Okay. Grams per mole. So that's what we're gonna put in here. Grams per mole. Sorry for the mess. And what do we get when we divide those two? Give me as many numbers as possible. And I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, so 0 0.0. 298. 0.43. That's good. And it's moles. All right. So what is the least number of significant digits in my question? The only numbers. Four, right? Four of them. So this zero does not count here. So we, we, it's all this we need. Here's the first significant digit, the nine, the eight, and this zero is what we need. We look at this number here. Does it change it? No. no. Do I keep this zero? Yeah. Yes, I do. So I get 0 0.02980 moles of plumbic. Oops. S two O three two. Okay, uh, plumbic thio sulfate. Sorry about that little mishap there. But I'm glad that you guys caught it and we didn't keep going. How many times I've we I've made a mistake on the PowerPoint and and, and everyone just keeps going with it. <laughs> two times two is equal to five and everyone's no one's saying a thing. We're keeping we keep going.